Welcome to Digital Toolbox. This is part 10 of the Farnsworth House case study and we're going to add our floor slabs and roof slabs today. So I'm going to change layer 3's name to floor and I'm going to change layer layer 4 to roof. I'm going to go in and take the outermost curve of my main floor and I'm going to offset this by 3 inches and I'm going to change the roof color to white and then I'm going to offset again by 0.25 of an inch so I'll take this curve the main floor slab and I'm going to extrude the curve by 15 inches since we know that the from the general overview the uh, channel beams is 15 inches and then I'm going to take the second curve here and I'm going to extrude that by 4 inches and then I'm going to take the outside the most outside curve and I'm, I'm going to offset by inch and a half now these measurements that I'm making is purely I'm kind of looking at the picture and taking my best estimate since this is not an actual fully exact model of the Farnsworth house it's just how we review things online and from various sources and try to get the best estimate of how the measurements are so I'm going to extrude these two curves at an inch and a half I'm going to go into my perspective So I'll take that geometry and I'm going to move it upwards, so I'll click yes on vertical. Move it up to there, I'll take this one and I'm going to my front view, I'm going to draw a quarter inch line. And then I'm going to move this line towards that quarter inch. And then I'm going to delete that curve. So there's my roof. What I'm going to do with my roof is, is I can union them later, but for now I'm just going to group them. And then I'm going to move it vertically up also using these corners. And then I'm going to take this outside curve for the main floor slab and the other floor slab and I'm going to extrude them both by a negative of 15 inches. So there's our floor slab and roof slab and I'm going to take this and or I'm going to take these main objects And I'm going to move vertical yes up 5 feet 3 inches since we know that that's how high the main structure is raised off the ground. So that's 5 feet 3 inches off the ground and then, this, and then the entrance slab I'm going to move it up halfway and halfway of 63 inches or 5 feet 3 inches is 31.5 inch. So I'm going to move that up also. 31.5 inch. Now we'll look at the front view and it's centered just to make sure I'm going to take the distance. Five feet three, two and seven and a half, so that's 31 inches. And that's how you create the floor and roof slabs. And thanks for watching.